Hey guys, this is my update for my Werewolf Lightning build read on Diablo 4 and as you'll see, in addition to having very good DPS, you'll also be very tanky. With that setup, you'll be able to farm in Nightmare Dungeons with more than 15 level difference. For the skill, you'll be playing the Ersen Bulwark and will be able to spam this one. You also have Cataclysm as our ultimate and two buffies, the Roar and the Hall. You can also take the Cyclone Armor to increase a bit your resistances. Then we have Claw, which will be our main DPS spell. For the gear, you want to have this helm, which will convert your Storm skill base in a Werewolf spell. It's very important because if I remove it, for example, here I'm at 8 on 5 and if I remove this helm, just like that, you'll see that my storm skill will be at level 5. Also, everything boosting werewolf skills, especially in the paragon setup, will boost this base attack, so that's why it's important to have this helm. Then you want plus 2 to werewolf skills, here you have a chance to do lightning damage, it's important to have this one in order to get some AoE damage, here you want some damage reduction with basic attack and the fact that you can reduce cooldown, especially this one with this attack. So that's very useful and just by using the claw you'll always have us and Bulwark ready to use. Then our third unique, this one converting the claw to a storm skill and you also want to have increased damage when you stand still. You don't need to move a lot and this aspect will give you a very good boost in DPS. Then we want this one in order to increase your chance to crit for the storm skill. And it's the same, it directly works when you cast the crow. So you have this boost of 12% of increased critical chance for the storm skills as long as you use the crow. So it's also very good to have. Lastly, you want the basic attack speed in order to gain DPS. For the boons you have damage reduction from Elite, just here some attack speed and this one granting you some fortification when you use a defensive skill. You also have healing on critical strike when you are in a werewolf and this one reducing your ultimate cooldown. For the gems damage reduction while fortified, increase damage to vulnerable enemies, increase critical strike damage to vulnerable enemies and resistances. For the stats you want a bit of lucky hit on your rings and on your gloves and of course everything linked to critical strike, critical strike damage where you can try to take some willpower and also attack speed can be nice. Lastly, everything linked to damage reduction will be interesting for this build. So now for the skill tree you want to have the claw with the fact that you can attack twice. You also want this one in order to make enemies vulnerable. Of course 5 points in each and then you have the increased critical strike chance on close enemies. For the defensive setup you want to put 5 points in the Ersen Bulwark, you have here the fact that it will fortify, just 1 point in the Cyclone Armor, 1 point in Blood All and the Roar, and for them you want increased attack speed and this one also healing. After you get increased non-physical resistances and this one for the damage reduction. Then we get to the storm passives and you just want to reach here in order to increase your damage and to proc a lightning bolt. A bit below you have this one which will help you to get fortified when you have plenty of enemies so it's interesting just to put one point here and you also want this one for the poison application in order to use this passive increasing critical strike damage to poison enemies. Lastly, you have some increased damage on Elites. Our ultimate, make sure to not take this point because we always have a vulnerable application. And lastly, the Nature's Fury. Before showing a bit of gameplay, this is the Paragon setup with first one increasing damage in Werewolf. Then we get to this board which will grant you increased storm damage to enemies. You have this rare node just here and then we'll get to this glyph increasing damage to close enemies in werewolf make sure to get this passive and it will also boost this damage so it's interesting to take all the passive take this rare node critical strike damage and move to the next board with this time this glyph damage while fortified it's in intelligence so you take the intelligence node and you don't want to take this one because you don't need spirit here you have some additional attack speed and increased damage in Werewolf with also increased critical strike damage and you want this glyph after increasing damage to close enemies. 
you also want to skip this one because it's not very interesting you can get this which will increase damage to crowd control enemies and this one for the natural skill damage and damage to elites then you have the last cliff with the last legendary node that we don't take so it's this one you don't want to take this one and lastly you have this glyph increasing damage to vulnerable enemies take the dexterity node and will finish with increased damage to poison enemies for the gameplay you'll want to use your claw on your enemies and just make sure to always be fortified for that you have the defensive spells and of course the earthen bulwark also if you see many cc effects just make sure to always keep your bulwark available after that it's easy, you can use your ultimate and your buffies and you should easily clear anything. In any case this build will be efficient if you're playing in solo, in a party, on elites, on bosses and so on. I'll let you enjoy the gameplay for this werewolf build. Thanks for watching this video, I hope that you like this update for one of my most beloved builds.